Hello guys, welcome to the channel. So if you've been curious how to play together with your friends with a seamless co-op mod in Elden Ring that allows you to play from 0 to 100% the entire game together instead of playing that very bad and uh, very limited version of the multiplayer that Elden Ring uh, stock version has, this is going to be the video for you. So I will show you how to install the mod very quickly and I have my very kind friend that allowed, uh, that agreed me to help uh, to show you how to actually play it together. So what we will do, I will join him and after that he will join me and I will show you which items you need to use inside of the game to be able to easily connect and of course play together. But before that, let us go through the actual mod installation. So firstly guys, you go into the Nexus mods and you of course find the seamless co-op as you can see it's one of the most if not the most popular mod on the entire uh, Elden Ring section. You go to files, you download uh, the mod files, they're very small, just one megabyte in size. Slow download, as you can see you will have this very small uh, archive that you need to unzip into your game's direct directory. Let me show where it is. So my friends, you just need to find your game uh, in your drive. In my case, as you can see, it's going to be on the F drive. So you go to Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Elden Ring, and then Game. And you just drag and drop all of these files into your mother folder of your game. And after that, guys, very important, you need to go to the, to the Seamless Co-op folder and you need to set up a password. So this is very, very important. Without this, you will not be able to play. So as you can see, guys, we have set, me and my friend, we have set this temporary password that we together will use in this uh, tutorial. So guys, make sure that this password is the same for both of you. It has to, has to match, absolutely every single letter has to match. So both you and your friend have to have the exact, exact same password, all right? This is very important. So letter to letter, if you have numbers, number to number, letter to letter, has, has to be completely the same. After that, guys, after you have your uh, password typed in, you can close this file. Uh, you go back to the mother folder of the game. Now I'm just going to take my controller because I play on the controller. My friend is actually playing on the keyboard, which is fine. Whatever choice you make. All right, my friend. So I have my controller connected to the game. So from now, you just uh, press on the erclauncher.exe. This will make sure to launch your game with the uh, mode functioning. So let us do that. Just double click. And now your game should start. Your Steam will launch, of course, because we use the Steam version of the game. So guys, I forgot to tell you, you need to launch the uh, Steam first because the launcher itself doesn't uh, launch the Steam. So press on this executable once again. And now, as you can see, your game is successfully starting. So what you need to do now is you just create a new character, okay? So because you, you will have a completely new separate save from your stock game. This is very important. So you just skip all of this stuff, press OK, OK. And as you can see, we now have Elden Ring Seamless Scope written down there on the bottom right. So what you do, you go new game. Uh, my friend, also you make sure to uh, create a <laughs> new, uh, new, new character, please. I'm doing it now. Uh, so just create a character. I will just create a warrior, doesn't matter. Uh, enter a name. I'm just going to name him a tester, a tester player. And you're gonna have to complete a very short intro in the game so you can start playing together. So let's just uh, begin the game. All right, guys, so let me just skip this and let us begin with the very small uh, prologue. So what you do, you just uh, pick up this item. Oh, let me just uh, load up my profile on my controller. Okay, good. So pick this up. All right, you can open this gate. Or this door, should I say. Go through here. Alright, just run down here. It's very simple, straightforward. Nothing uh, complicated. Just like in the stock game, past the first section. You can just die to this boss, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna die to the boss to not waste any time. So let me just get to him. Alright, getting to the boss. As you can see, the door is now closed. You can choose to fight this boss, as you can see he's already jumping on us. I'm just gonna die to him very quickly, it's gonna be like a one shot or something. Oh, not entirely. So as you can see I'm dying really quickly. 
All right, I'm dead. Skip that. Now, guys, we basically just open the door to the world, get to the first bonfire. Oh, I always say bonfire. Get to the first sight of grace. Uh, okay, so let us go up the stairs. All right, to open this door. So this is going to be the door to Limgrave. Absolutely amazing and fantastic location. Very beautiful. All right, go up here. Oh, this is this is the first sight of grace. All right, so activate this one. We can pick this item up as well. Whatever this is. Oh, this is our cooperative multiplayer, yeah. So here we go. Now go... Uh, up this elevator. Man, it's dark here. There you go. Okay, we should be up in... in the uh, first location. Where's the door? There you go. There you go. Now we are successfully free from this jail, should I say. As you can see, we are in the first Limgrave site of Grace. And from here, guys, I will show you how to connect to my friend. So, my friends, after using the uh, second side of grace, you will close this thing. And when you rest at the side of grace, you will need all the necessary. As you can see, I've gotten just uh, like about what, like about seven new items. So these items are very important. They will allow you to connect. So be sure to see that you get them. If you did not get them, you probably did not install them more properly. This is very important. After using this side of grace, you can see we have Tiny Great Port, uh, Millennia, Challenges, whatever. As you can see, Separation Mist, this is to separate and leave the multiplayer. So make sure to get these items before you continue. Okay, after that, guys, you need to go to your inventory. You go to inventory and you need to search for an item that's called Effigy of Millennia. You just press on it, press Use. And like this, as you can see, join world as a wanderer. So this will make sure that you will connect to your friend's world. Okay, guys, so after loading, as you can see, after we both die, we are just getting back onto the last uh, site of grace we have been at. So in my case, I don't remember if I activated the second one. Let me see. Let me just wait for the download to complete. Sorry, the loading to complete. Uh, so when you both die, yeah, as you can see, when we both died, we are just back onto our limb grave very first uh, size of grace you can easily rest here as you can see along alongside your friend okay guys so as you can see i have left my friend's world and now i'm just gonna wait for a few seconds until he joins my world now so let us wait okay guys so also a small bit of information for you if you want to for example fight your friend like make a pvp i'm gonna show you how to do that as well so if you want to make some for example friendly challenge and fight each other you can do that as well I'm just going to wait for, for my friend to um, connect to me. So what I do, I go to my inventory and I need to use a item called Tiny Gray Sport. Press on that, press use. And then, as you can see, you need to uh, click Open World to Wanderers. Press on that. So this will basically make sure to open the world for your friend so that he can join your world. You can do that now, brother. Everything is ready. So he's going to have his uh, game loaded. Okay, he's already joining. I've just had a little stutter in my game, so that's a good sign. Okay, guys, as you can see, my friend is successfully connected to my session now. And we, you can just play, just go around the world. The world is open to you completely. You can do a bit of, uh, yeah, a bit of squats like that to cheer each other up. And guys, also in terms of the PvP, let me show you how to do the PvP. So you need to uh, use... Okay, guys, so you go into the into your inventory, you go to Judicator's rulebook, you press on it, press use, and you will have this little menu, as you can see, toggle PvP. Oh, my friend is already screaming, he's waiting for the PvP, he's very, very angry now. Uh, toggle PvP, as you can see, now PvP is enabled, and now you can lock on to your friend, and go ahead and punch me, punch me, it's okay, punch me. And as you can see, guys, you can easily fight each other, you can find some new weapons, new armor and easily fight each other. As you can see, my weapons are incredibly <laughs> crazy. He's already dead. So just amazing, amazing mod, guys. The most popular mod on the entire Nexus website. Enjoy the mod, play together, have fun. Guys, press like on the video, subscribe. See you in the next one.